Hey, this is Marvin and I'm the creator of Withem, which I created together with Jordan Rogers from Wisdom Music and I just wanted to show you some of the very cool and hidden gems of Withem, so just dive into it. I've loaded a song into it, so you can load custom songs into Withem with no problem. One of the very powerful features of Withem is that you can choose the visualization mode, so you can choose equalizer, mandala, shapes and so on. For each visualization mode, you can choose a background. I can go here for some particle effects and then you can see particles in the background. When I'm switching to another mode, so I'm going to the shapes mode or to the fluids, then the background still remains the same. When you choose a background, that gives you a lot of options you can choose from and combine that with all the different visualization modes, which is pretty cool. You can also discover a lot of different backgrounds. So just when I'm here in the particle section, then you can go for lovely dust or blue fireflies or green dust. And when you go to the space background, there's also a lot of things to discover. One thing which I really like are the triangles and it goes really cool when you go to the mandala mode and combine that with the triangle background and then play around with the segments. You can adjust here in the performance bar and then play around a little bit with the angel of the different segments and that gives some really cool effects. Another background which I added in the newest version, in the version 2, is the flower of life. That's also pretty psychedelic. When you go for the U performance knob here, then you get a lot of pretty cool colors. I really like the purple one with the green color here and when you go back then you get some really nice effects. One of the other hidden games of Withem is when you go to the particle effects, which are pretty sweet. Then you have a knob here which says Gyro Particles and when you enable that one and then just put your device into your hands and shake it a little bit, then you can control the background with the Gyro sensor of the iPad or the iPhone, which is pretty cool and when you do it by yourself it feels very cool. You definitely have to try that one. The next thing which I wanted to present is when you go into the shapes mode, there are some pretty cool combinations you can do when you go to the space backgrounds and here I have selected the space flow background which you can also control with the gyro sensor but I don't want to do that right now. I think the, the space flow is working pretty well with the shapes when you have something like a sphere and then the space flow background. And then you can pimp it up a little bit when you just go for a little bit more blue that got really crazy here. Another mode which is pretty cool, which we added in the newest version, in the version 2, is the milk drop mode. Here the idea is that you don't have backgrounds which apply to the visuals, but you only have the visuals itself. And there are some pretty cool ones you can select here. I've selected from Guys, Artifact 1, which I really like. You can go for some more bloom to make it a little bit more bloomy. You can change the hue a little bit to change the colors. Another one which I also really like is uh, MIG004, which is here. Another thing which you can play around with is the LFO feature. So here when I click on LFO, you can see that I can adjust the frequency, a uh, number of BPMs. Let's say I wanted to have 108 BPM and then modulate the bloom with that frequency. So you can see that this value here is going up and down and whenever it reaches the highest point the bloom is going really high and when it's going lower then the bloom also decreases. And that's pretty cool especially when you know the BPM for your song and then you can synchronize it with your song and it gives you a really cool effect. Another pretty powerful feature of Withem is the random mode we added in version 2. You can see it in the background on my screens here. There's the random mode playing the whole time. It gives you a lot of options and variety you don't recognize when you just play around with the app itself. So I can show you that one here on the iPads. When you click here on the dice, then the random options uh, opening. You can see that we can enable autopilot here and I can define a loop time. Loop time 5 seconds means that a new visualization is appearing each 5 seconds. And you can also see it on the right side here in this little timer which is filling up. Every time the circle fills completely, then the visuals are simply changing. When you just uh, do it in autoplay mode and see what visuals are coming up, then there are a lot of really cool things which appear. And when you like one, you can simply hit the stop button 
and then you are in this visualization. You can also save it in the presets if you wanted to do that. Here we have some presets added. You can just enter a text. So let's say my fav. I simply save that one and create some new visualizations in the random mode. I wanted to go back to the preset I saved before, so I just select that one here, my fat, click on load, and here's the visualization again. There are definitely a really huge amount of things you can discover in with them, and I wish you a lot of fun with it. Hope you enjoy it as well as I do, and have a great time with it.